Hi, welcome to the GF channel. In today's episode, I'm actually going to replace my uh, panel here and um, I'll add some backlight to it, to the uh, cigarette lighter. Um, now I broke this one, this is the original one, you may have seen this sticker here in my previous videos. I did broke it like way before I actually started this channel when I was actually searching for this this connector right here which is for this button which controls this thing which I finally figure out, figured out how to make it happen on the 626 but I won't be able to do a video soon because of this coronavirus thing parts are not actually shipping so whenever they ship I will keep you posted now <clears throat> I broke here not only this, but I actually even broke this, this thing is wobbly, it wobbles. So I'm, I'm going to replace it, and I'm going to place this one, and I'm going to actually glue here a PCB with two diodes LEDs that point in, in, the, in, those, in this direction. So one pointing to here and one pointing to here. Green LEDs, same color as the backlit of everything that I showed you. Yeah, I have a video for you can click it, see how I actually do the whole uh, backlit, which means this should be in the same green color. Now, if you're wondering why I have cables out coming out of here, this is because of yet another project that I have started. This one here, and this, these are going to actually be uh, USB ports. Just pull them out like that. USB ports for charging and the data transfer, so flash drive or whatever. Okay, so let's make the PCB and show you how it looks like. And so that's the prototype, and actually, will be the final result. The two diodes are pointing inwards. The way that they are pow being powered is by this T5 here. This, that's T5 from LED, I'm going to show you in a bit. Let me just explain for this. There are two grooves here and here. Those actually go in here because of this one. And at the bottom the same. And those are actually a little bit off of this plastic and there is enough for the PCB to actually place in so whenever you, you shut it on top it sticks there let me try to do it with one hand so when I go like that okay. click that's a good sound it looks like that It's not twisting, it's not going out, it's solid. And here there is just enough space for the T5 to come in. Now the T5, I'm actually using the backlit for the um, cigarette, uh, the ashtray. Because first I'm not using it and second you saw that the USB is inside, there's a metal plate on top it's not going to be visible whatever I shine beneath it, so no point in backlit for the uh, ashtray. And uh, the cool thing of this backlit is actually it's part of the backlit of everything else, so it is adjustable. You can lower its brightness or get it higher. So this means the ring here is actually going to follow the rest. Cool. Now, as of this, it's I bought it from China a long time ago. It's too white. Um, basically, you can uh, you can remove the metal pins, straighten them up, and get this out and use only the plastic. That's what I did. It's here and placed back new pins. Okay, let's assemble everything. Show you the final result. 
and everything is assembled I turn on the backlit and there it is right here and you can regulate it of course as with everything let's go turn off the lights so we can actually see it in action with lights off okay let me turn off the lights okay i do not have my onboard computer running because as, as i said i did figure out how to use the other one um and i'm in the process of actually doing it and looks quite nice from all directions i enjoy it really if i now twist the switch the backlit switch adjusts everything is beautiful okay let me now turn on the light to show you the bonus for today's episode okay put some light put some light on so here i have some uh, brochures magazines pure japanese maybe remove those so i can place them here and uh, i was looking at them and what i found was interesting i like jdm stuff this is pure jdm so apparently on the fam familia which is the 323 they have as a feature or equipment which is actually in, in english interesting they have this thing a coin holder a different one than this one which actually grabs uh, dirt in it and it's hard to clean this one seems better and also i remove this regular regularly and this will be much well, much better for me so i decided to actually look for this and I didn't found for uh, Familia or Capella. I did found one in the USA for the Protégé. But what I did find is for uh, Atenza and RX-8. So, this is the original one. I'm not going to open it because I ordered two of those. The, ordering two of those actually got me uh, somewhere around 14 euros with the delivery and apparently even with the coronavirus they still do deliver from japan which is good so now i have removed this uh, switch because i no longer use it i have a video on how to move this to here which is much more comfortable and this was left empty i actually did change the backlit of it and left it running because to look actually working but it wasn't doing anything so Instead, I wanted this when I saw it. I decided I'll do it. So I pop it. And uh, I don't know if it's visible. Doesn't seem much visible. Okay, like that. And the only issue is once you place it in, you cannot actually get it out. It's hard to place it in, but once you place it in, solid, solid thing. Very solid. Uh, at the back of this, there is a place for connector but the, the connectors are different for for the six so no connector none of those connectors actually fit the, the back the placeholder for a connector for this thing so my connector for the uh, fog lights is actually hanging i'll have to make sure it doesn't hang but the end thing is this coin holder looks awesome it's jdm and it works on the six to six with the star, the asterisk, that you cannot pretty much remove it afterwards. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit subscribe, I'll be posting more videos soon. Bye bye.